Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. Or I'm my alter ego, Miss Vanity Scarlet. I had a gig later tonight, so I figured since I was all dressed up already and I got done early, might as well record some reactions while I'm here. So we're going to dive into Word of Honor. We're diving into episode nine. Um, episode eight ended, um, ended with our two leads at not the palace but at, at the, the one brother's one brother's house um basically they're trying to visit or trying to see um cheng ling and they're like the guy's like no he's sick he, he can't be bothered and then someone else popped up and they're like hey um there there's a there's a dead guy outside and they just start looking at um zushi and um um Qijing and like because they're already a little suspect of them already. I'm like, oh lord, y'all picking the wrong place, wrong time. So we're gonna dive in, see where the things of the things go, where the things of the things, and the things of the things of things. Child, child, child. Like I was saying there towards the end, Kijing, he, he's been all about just, you know, adding a little fuel to the fire. He's not going to be involved in the war. He's not going to set the fire and thing, but he wants to watch the world burn. So he, he's sitting off on the sidelines, enacting his plan, getting all these fake pieces of the glazed armor out there. And he's like, you know what? I'm just going to watch them take themselves out. I'm, I'm not going to be, in, I'm not going to lay a finger on them. I'm not going to fight a damn thing. I'm going to let them, I'm going to let them do what they gonna do to each other and I'm just gonna sit back and watch grab myself a little popcorn grab myself a little bottle of wine and I'm just gonna sit there and watch the show and you know that's what he's been doing he, and he's been enjoying the show but his time with Aju has obviously had some sort of effect on him it's had some sort of effect on him because before No, why am I lacking? Computer, why? Oh, computer, why, why are you acting this way? Sorry. I was freezing there for a minute. I'm like, no, I, no, don't. I'm so close to the end of this. Don't ruin it. Um, but the time he spent with him has clearly had some sort of effect on him because like that last little conversation that they had when they were on the rooftop looking at the moon and he's like ah oh, you know now the show must begin let's go watch you know, blah 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 and they're like flying all over the place watching everyone hack each other up and kill each other and Aju was like repulsed by it he was so upset by it like how can you think this is funny how can you think this is funny I used to think you were just playing crazy and stupid but now I think you're just actually crazy and you know Kijing is just in here thinking, oh, he's 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 being silly. He's being his normal silly self, whatever. It's just another day. And then he goes the next morning to wake him up and his ass ain't there anymore. And he's like, this bitch, what, what's going on? And then after just playing spectator for that whole little last scene and watching all of the damage that's actually happening to all of these people, like he's starting to feel, a, I think a little bit of a conscience something starting to brew in him and he's like man like yeah I just wanted to watch the world burn a little bit but now that the world is actually burning it's like damn this is this is a lot like there are a lot of people who are getting hurt over this people who aren't actively trying to you know like it's one thing for the people who are actively greed, greedily trying to seek out the glazed armor for their own purposes so they're trying to steal pieces and kill people and all that kind of stuff but then you had these four sages who ain't bothered a soul. They ain't bothered a soul in 15, however many years that they've just kind of been hiding off, living in solitude. Haven't bothered a soul, and then they decided to come out of hiding for this one event, just to play some music for the one event, and it's led to all of this. It's led to all of this. Now all four of them are dead. They didn't want a damn thing to do with this glazed armor. They, they're not looking for a damn thing, and now all four of them are dead, and it's like, damn. And I'm sure that's not the only case of like some innocent people innocent bystanders being hurt in the process of other people's pursuit of the glazed armor so i feel like the actual gravity of what's happening and his involvement in this situation was really starting to weigh on 
Kijing in the, those final moments because that was an intense scene. That was an intense scene of you know set of things that happened there um, between the one sage who you know had the sword through his chest and you know obviously he passed um, to then the other sage who got whatever poison in his eyes and that made him go crazy and then killed the the lady sage um, then he needed to be put down and then all of a sudden the last one comes out and gave this lecture gave this lecture to to Gao and I'm like you know what tell him tell him about himself he needs to hear this stuff. everybody needs to hear this stuff and then he's like you know what what what's the point in living without a soulmate and then he just kills himself I'm like Lord Jesus the, mm. like it was an intense it was an intense scene that was happening there um, lot, lots of stuff going on there and then the last little bit there when Gal's like wait, don't you want the glazed armor? Here, take it. Take another piece. Take another piece. And then finally making a realization like, oh shit, these are the exact same piece. Oh, this might be fake, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if I were Gal, I would like showcase like, hey, look, they're the same fake, but I would still hold on to all the pieces because one of those pieces, there's a chance one of those pieces could be the actual piece and you don't know which one's going to be real and which one's going to be fake. So I hold all the pieces just, just to be safe. You never know. You never know. Um, the fake pieces might work. I don't know. Like, if I were to assemble fake pieces with the other pieces, because they were built as replicas, so I don't know if they're just, like, pieces that fit together that are going to open a lock, or if there's, like, magical properties to the real four pieces that when they link together, something magical happens that'll unlock the armory. Like, I don't know. But, you know, they could. the fake pieces might work, so I would hold on to them, just, just in case. Just in case. Um... It's like, yeah, after the Heroes Conference, I'm going to explain everything. And then he storms off and it's like, oh, man, what a, what a, what a scene. That, that, that last scene was something else. Um, what happened earlier in the episode? We got cute moments with um, Jiang and the sweet boy, sweet, sweet little cinnamon roll in the beginning. Um, and she's like, y you better be careful because there, there, there are some, there's some member of the ghosts there's one of the devils who loves to eat handsome young boys with baby fat like you and you know blah 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 and all he heard from that is you think I'm handsome did, did, did you say I was handsome like my baby focus focus yes you did but that's focus honey sweet little boy love him love him um, and we were having some really nice romantic cute-ish moments with Kijing and Azu, but then, you know, Kijing had to go fuck shit up and, you know, be crazy. And it was like, you know, crazy people need love too. Don't don't write him off just yet. Don't write him off just yet. Um, we had the whole training scene with um, Ching Ling where, you know, he's he's trying to learn the martial arts. It's not his fault that he wasn't trained in the martial arts the way of the martial arts and not his fault so like this other sect is like oh i heard so much about your sect's um amazing skills blah 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 and this is all you've got and you know just being a total dick to him and i'm like it's not my fault they didn't teach me so like whatever jealousy or frustration you have towards my sect don't take it out on me i didn't do shit it's not my fault i'm sitting here trying to learn i'm trying to better myself and you guys are being assholes so maybe you could stop being an asshole and you could just do your job and teach me what you need to teach me. Ugh, Lord, people, I don't know. Um, we also got to see those guys again from the last episode who were at the big magic trick where, you know, they were supposed to be cutting a person in half and then, no, someone actually got, you know, dismembered. Um, go figure. Um, and like I said in the last episode, they seemed like they were in a trance. And even here when they, we saw them in the jail cell, it still felt like they were in a trance. Like, I don't know if it's the music that was being played in the restaurant or whatever, but like they don't feel like they're cognizant or they're conscious of what's happening. They just feel like they're puppets in a trance. So like they put food in front of them, they're like, okay, they reached out for food. Like, that's what they're supposed to do. And then they kick the food away and they're like, okay. It's like, they're empty shells. The, the, the the lights are on, but no one's home. So it's like, 
don't know what's going to come of them if we're going to see any more of them but i i imagine there's probably some ghostly devil um shenanigans at play when it comes to them and yeah and then we yeah we have the four sages scene there at the end so yeah all in all very very entertaining things are starting to brew um we haven't met any new ghosts in a little while so i'm curious if we're going to meet any more of those I haven't seen any more of the four scorpions five scorpions i think it's four of them or the scorpion king in a few episodes so hopefully we'll get some more of them soon and we haven't seen anything from the print like we saw the one guard from prince's you know order last episode when um as you you know, took off his mask and was like, oh, okay, oh, it's you, Master, blah, blah, blah. But we haven't actually seen anything from the prince himself, so maybe we'll see some more of that, too. But, yeah. Love, love. Lots and lots of fun. Love the series. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications, you'll be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments, and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.